Okay guys, what's up? Here's what we're gonna be doing today. So today, yeah, it's gonna be like a little vlog thing, but first, we're actually gonna be pranking somebody. Now he's right over there, and if I talk too loud, he can probably hear me, so I'm gonna talk really low. So I've been watching YouTube, and it seems like everybody's been doing pranks lately. And well, I'm in Kentucky, and I don't really have that many people to prank, except I got some people up here today, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, there they are. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. Come here, come up. Here, let me unhook you. All right, there you go. Huh. Prank. Got him. I bet you he really thought he was free. <laughs> I need some friends, guys. Okay, Peanut, to make it up to you, I did go get you some dog food. Yeet. Those are rocks. Oh! What are you doing? Ah! Peanut, no, you can't eat those. Those are rocks. You can't do that. I guess you guys can go ahead and just call me the prank master. Now, I understand that was probably the best prank you've ever saw on YouTube, but because Peanut, you know, did get straight up roasted, I guess we'll let him out for a day or two. Come on, Peanut. Let's go ride the mule. Let's go. You're actually out this time. Oh my gosh, he's a mat. Oh my gosh. I know Peanut don't get much screen time, but the main reason is because one, he doesn't really do anything, and two, he is like the master of destruction. Now, he came to me a while ago, supposed to be a squirrel dog, except he has yet to tree his first squirrel. So instead of having the title of squirrel dog, I have now deemed him the title of Peanut. And about the king of destruction, I mean, he don't care if it's Crocs, garbage, a car. He'll just destroy it. He'll just take a tire out of a car. I don't know what's wrong with him, guys. I don't know. He's probably half Tiger Shark. I don't know. He's something, I'll tell you that. He's something. But the main reason I don't let him run loose much is because he's just a straight savage. Like, so savage that I feel if I left him off the chain for a few days, he'd end up selling our house on Craigslist. Like, I'm not even lying. That, that's that's what Peanut does. If you type in Peanut on Google, you're going to find a picture of him with a for sale sign in front of my house. Like, it's just crazy. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a savage. He's too savage. He's savager than me. I can't help it. Like, guys, this is what I mean. He's been off the chain for two minutes, and I've, I've already lost him. He's done ran away. Like, what is he doing? I was going to take him for a ride. He's just straight up nowhere to be found. Peanut! 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 Where did you go? Dude, have you saw Peanut? Good talk. Three hours later. There you are, Peanut. Where have you been? Like, I've legit been looking for you for three hours, buddy. Where you been, Bubba? Where you been, Bubba? Oh! Let's go. Let's go ride. Oh, yeah. Peanut's a pro rider. You know, Peanut's my only boy dog I got. So he's kind of my bro. Ain't that right, Peanut? Whenever Peanut don't think I'm going fast enough, he feels obligated to come back here and sit on my foot. Don't you, Peanut? Ah, there you go. He's getting pretty comfortable now, aren't you, bud? And about that turnip field we was planting a while ago? Well, here it is now. It looks a whole lot better than it did. It's ready. Now, all it's going to need is time, and I believe Peanut approves of it. Do you approve of it, Peanut? Peanut, don't go nowhere now. We're about to head back home. Peanut, don't leave me! Peanut, are you serious? We just went through this. Don't leave me again. No. 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 Well, it seems like I'm heading home alone now. My boy's a straight savage. He don't need me. Peanut, last call. If you want to ride the Trapper Shack on wheels home, you better come now. Okay, that settles it. Well, I'm going home. Okay guys, so I just got this big old long package in the mail. It says it's from Crossman, so hey man. Figured I better go ahead and open it on camera. Let's see what we got here. Paper. More paper. Oh, here it is. Yep, more paper. Here we go. There's a receipt. And here's the actual thing. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a stock for that pellet gun I got in the mail. I'll be right back. I'm going to get it. Yeah. Here it is. The stock had been broke off and shaved down just for shipping, I guess. But, you know what, here, here's another stock right here. Now, I actually knew this was coming. My good buddy CW ordered this for me and sent it over my way. So here we go. We're about to fix my gun. Now, I'm not a pro at this or anything, but the only screw I see is one right here. So we're gonna take it out and see where it gets us. Coming nice and easy, just like it should. And then, boom, off comes the old stock. Here, on goes the new stock. Let's see if it works perfectly. And boom, wow, that goes on straight up perfectly. Now we're just going to put that bolt right back in, screw, whatever you want to call it, and boom. There we go, guys. I just got a brand new gun right there. I mean, the two woods don't match up perfectly, but hey, I don't care. This is a gun. I don't care how it looks. I just want it for how it works. And as long as it shoots and kills stuff, hey, that's all I need it for. Wonder if I could get a scope for this thing. I mean, yeah, the iron sight's pretty awesome, but... 
It's got these weird mounts on the side of it, like screw holes right here and screw holes over here. I think that's maybe where a scope would go, so I may go get on the internet and I may even buy me a scope. I may make this a straight up killer right here. This thing will knock down squirrels all year. It'll knock down everything I want to, but you know, now I got a stock. That's one step closer to being a sniper. But yeah, thanks to everybody who's put in with this gun, for the person who sent it in the mail, and the guy who sent the stock. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, so in yesterday's mail time, we received this baseball, and it says right on it, shoot this with one of your guns. Now, this technically isn't a, like, firearm, but it is an air gun, and it shoots pretty hard, and I'm even gonna say it's more accurate than my 22. So, we're gonna put a big pellet in the thing and see what it can do to a baseball. Now, keep in mind, this is a 22 caliber pellet gun, so this is actually one of the bigger pellet guns they make. But anyways, here we go. Oh, Dang it, are you kidding me? It bounced back. Dude, that bounced back and hit my hand right there. Do y'all see that? It's like a little black spot. I mean, it's not bruised. It's just, it came back and hit me, guys. I wasn't expecting that, and I'll tell you right now, I'll never do that again. You know what? Here's the baseball. I hit it right there in the threads. It sort of done some damage, but boys, it came straight back and hit me in the hand. And I 100% don't recommend you two either. Okay, so as you know, it is Sunday, and it's time to get a little bit of Jesus in you. Now, this week's verse of the week is Romans 1.16. And today, we're just going to look at the beginning of it. But what the beginning of it says is, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. And this is actually where I want you guys to come in. I have been giving God the glory for my YouTube channel since he gave it to me. But I am climbing fairly fast right now. And he did give me the channel, so I want to keep it that way. Now, yeah, I've had an accountability partner here and there. But I've never had, like, 70,000 of them. So I'm pledging right now. From now on, if I post on a Sunday, it's going to have something to do with Jesus. Something like this. A verse of the week. Something like that. And the first Sunday I don't do it, boom. I want y'all to get all over me and tell me, dude, what are you doing? That ain't right. I don't care if I have 70,000 subscribers or 70 million subscribers. Guys, God gave me this channel and nothing is going to change that. But anyways, like I said, be my accountability partner and keep me in line. Let's go fishing or do something right now. Okay, guys, we're heading out again to a pond and I only brought a frog. So if they're not buying a frog, I guess I ain't catching a fish. We're over here with Fishing TW, also known as Swarping on that Sycamore, dude. Got a big one. I don't know. Looks like you got a nice sycamore. Swarping on that sycamore. That is what do you reckon? I don't know. I'm really hoping that there's a few sycamores down here. I'm really looking into getting into one today. He's not been on the channel for quite a while. Legit, almost a year. That's that's a long time. Well, except for the snapping turtle in Walmart. He was there. I don't know about you, but that is one of the most exciting days I've had in a while. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Very eventful for sure. Very eventful day. I got my cloggers on. He's got his cloggers on too. We're ready to go some pond hopping. There's a bug on your head, dude. It's like a horse fly. Yeah. We're walking through a big field here. So I'm walking by Tyler. That way he can get all the bugs off the grass before I do. Tyler, you know what I've done this morning? I pranked my dog, dude. Did you get him good? I roasted him. If he knows it's just a prank, it's all right. The problem was it's hard to prank a savage, all right? Like, that was my problem. It's hard to prank a savage. That is, it is pretty hard to prank a savage. You and that, that right. peanut is a savage. Okay, here we go. Here's my first cast. Get it way down there. And like I said a hundred times, I'm fishing with a frog. Oh, he just blew up on it, dude. That's my first cast. He may not have been a giant, but I just got blew up on my first cast, dude. It's really hard to prank a savage. Oh, there he is. Dang it. I missed him, as usual. I don't know how to fish. Okay, guys, it is burning up. If you can see my head, there's sweat everywhere. According to Snapchat, it's 90 degrees. Don't forget to add me on there on Instagram real quick. Plug, plug. Always plug. But yeah, we fished about like 30 minutes, and I got a few bites every now and again. I just like, you know, never really connected with any of them. But that's how it is with the frog. We're not done fishing, though. We're still fishing. We got a good piece of pond, and I believe we're about to get on one. had one blow up on it boys i'm hung up my cornfield how in the world does this happen i'm straight hung up my cornfield forget a sycamore i'm in a cornfield dude what in the world if you're not already go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button in the middle if you're already subscribed feel free to watch more videos on the left and as always notification squad post it up on the right
If you want some of the sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrade1.com or the link in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button, and besides that, hey, I'll see you later.